everybody. My name is Mike and I'm with SUU Aviation. And today we're going to go over the startup of our B0105. Now, our B0105 is special. It was Chuck Aaron's uh, aerobatic helicopter for many years. And the startup procedure for this aircraft might be different from a B0105 that you're familiar with. Hope you enjoy. First thing we're going to do is check the frictions, make sure that they are where we want them to be, and they are. All switches, we're going to verify off at this point. Everything is off. Throttle and fuel levers are off or in the aft position right here. They both are in the aft position. Okay, next thing we're going to do is going to kick the battery on. Now that the battery's on, we're going to run through our uh, mass moment indicator and the rest of our caution and warning lights. Okay, all of our lights are uh, illuminated. I'm going to check my panel lights. Good. Fire light. Fire light. Excellent. Next thing I'm going to do is check my mass moment and make sure that it's uh, working properly. So I'm going to push and hold that. We get a little bump back and I'm going to release that. And what that mass moment is really checking is the deflection from the transmission up through the main rotor hub. The BL-105 has two hydraulic systems and it's important that you check the operation of both systems as well as the switching in case one of those systems happens to fail. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to check the four axes on the cyclic. And if you'll notice, each time I did that, I had a hydraulic switch light indicated. All right, on the last check with the, with the collective, I'm going to make sure that I leave that hydraulic light up. That's showing and indicating that I'm in system two. And we're going to start the BO in system two, do a check of that system once we're up to full power, and then I'm going to switch back to system one and check it a second time. That way we know that one, the switch worked, and two, that we have hydraulic uh, function in both systems. All right, we're going to go ahead and start engine one first. The way we're going to do this is we're going to we're going to turn on igniter number one. We're going to lift and position the starter generator switch into the starter position. What I'm looking for is about 15 on my gas producer. I'm going to light it. We've got a nice start. I'm going to run this up to 58, making sure that my TOT doesn't get uh, super hot. There we go. All right. I'm going to turn the igniter off and move the switch into the generator position. And I'm going to do the same thing for engine number two. Igniter's coming on. And up on throttle for number two. Move it back into the starter position. Watching that turbine outlet temperature, make sure I don't get super hot. And now I'm watching for my gas producer to climb up to at least 58. All right, now that I'm up to idle, I'm going to check my hydraulics. Side, side. And as you notice, as I'm moving the cyclic around, you can see my mass moment indicator moving, indicating that there is some deflection within the rotor system. I'm going to go up slightly and down slightly with that collective. All right, so system two is working as expected. I've turned it off. You notice that my light has gone off. So now I'm back in system one, and I'm going to test it once more making sure that I have hydraulic function in system one as well. All right. So at this point, I'm going to check my, uh, my temperatures and pressures, make sure everything is where I should expect it to be. Everything is good here. My oil pressure is perfect. My engine temperatures are great. Fuel pressure is good. And I've got plenty of fuel for the remainder of this mission.
Sure appreciate you taking the time to watch the BO105 startup video. This is our uh, pride and joy, the BO105, the animal, part of the Chuck Aaron Advanced Flight Training Academy, and one of the very few FAA aerobatic helicopters in the world. Thanks for watching.